Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the today's session, we are going to discuss about uh, what are the features of Python programming language and also we will cover how to install Python in our computer system. And also we will cover how to install Visual Studio Code and we can also call VS Code in our computer system. In fact, this is the series of uh, Python tutorial for beginners. Okay, and this is the second video I am going to upload in our YouTube channel. So, in case if you didn't watch in our previous video, I covered all the topics like uh, what is Python and the history of Python and what is, why name is Python, why should I learn Python, what kind of jobs I can apply if I learn Python. So, if you did not watch that video, please go and watch it. So, without wasting our time, let's start our okay so these are the features of python like easy to use and very simple to learn and it is a open source software everyone can use okay and the platform independent portable extensible embedded a rich library and dynamically typed programming language and python is also interpreted programming language now let us discuss each feature one by one okay so the first one is easy to use and simple to learn that means anyone can easily learn python programming language even non it background candidates also can easily understand this programming language so therefore in it industry in the world wide which programming language is easy if anyone asks then without doubt you can say Python programming language is very easy programming language because the syntax is very easy. Whenever you are writing any Python program, it is similar, uh, it is look like uh, English written statements only. And uh, the next main feature is it is open source. Open source means anyone can modify existing project okay it is open source and free also you no need to purchase any license to use the software you can uh, freely download the software and you can use it so platform independent means suppose you have written a, any python programming language by using any windows operating system any platform the same the same program can be run and can be executed on different platforms like mac or linux or any platform that is nothing but platform independent you may return the code in windows operating system the same program the same program can be executed on different platform without modifying any statement that is nothing but platform independent okay then what is the meaning of portable portable means Suppose you have developed any application or software by using Windows operating system. But you want to use the same application or software on different operating system, different platform like uh, uh, Mac operating system or Linux operating system. Then without changing any single line of the uh, application, software easily compatible to the other platform as well. So extensible means Suppose you are developing a project using Python programming language, but the situation can you have to uh, include Java programming language or C++ programming, any other programming language. You have to work with any other programming language also. That means you can include any other programming language also. You can make it extend by, by other programming language like Java or C++ or any other programming language along with the Python programming language. That is nothing but extensible. Then what is the meaning of uh, embedded? This is also one of the major feature of uh, Python. Embedded means uh, suppose if you are building any project or application by using Python programming language, then at the same time you can use any other programming language also. That is nothing but embedded. You can make it. Uh, you can. Uh, you can. You can develop the project on different programming language also. So that is the power of Python programming language. It supports a different programming language also to develop the projects. Okay. And one more best feature for Python is that is nothing but rich library. It provides in the, 
lots of libraries so by using these libraries so we can uh, become a data scientist or you can become a data engineer or you can become an artificial intelligence engineer or you can become a machine learning engineer there are a lot of libraries are available to build the software or applications and one more feature is available that is nothing but dynamically typed programming language that means uh, in the case of c or c++ or java programming language you have to uh, declare data types before variables like int char string okay float Th those are the different data types you, you have to declare that one before compiling any program but in the case of python programming language you no need to declare any data types before variable python can automatically identify the according to providing the value they can easily identify whether it is a integer variable or float variable or string variable you no need to declare manually okay and uh, python is also interpreted programming language interpreted means uh, whenever you are compiling any programming it converts into the bytecode this bytecode can run on python virtual machine so these are the major features of python now let us see how to install python in our computer system first open google chrome and then type python.org and go to downloads button okay now you can see here download the later download the latest version for windows operating system so if you are use if you are a windows user then you can download windows version suppose if you are a mac user you can download mac version okay so just to click on this uh, download python 3.10 version okay so it takes a little bit time to download this uh, python software okay after download just click on the after download click on the open button i have already installed python software in my computer system that's why it's showing like this that's why it's showing dialog box like this just click on the next 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 button then you can easily uh, then you can easily install python software in your computer system okay now we will cover how to install vs code in our computer system just open the google okay and uh, type uh, vs code vs code just download okay and click on the this first option only select the first option download visual studio code immediately it will display the download options suppose if you are a windows user you can uh, select this option suppose if you are a mac user you can select this one okay and click on the windows button and click on the and select the windows option i have already installed vs code in our system so that's why i am just uh, cancelling this download option okay and uh, click on the vs code I'm just opening Visual Studio Code. So the VS Code installation complete. Then it will show. Uh, then it will show user interface like this. And you have to add the Python software in your VS Code. For that, you have to uh, click on this extension button. Okay, and type here Python. Okay, and select on Python. And here you can see. In fact, I have already added a Python to the VS Code. That's why it's showing, uh, it displaying dis disable mode. So, in fact, uh, if you are first time you are installing, then it will show enable. You just click on the enable button here. Then it automatically, then Python software automatically added to the VS Code. In the next session, we will learn what are the reservoirs uh, and what are the identifiers in Python okay and what are the keywords are available in python and also and also we will see the first python program in the next session okay if you really understand this concept then please share to your friends also
okay so we'll meet with another video thank you very much